If you went through the whole of YouTube, you could probably find thousands of different exercises claiming to put on muscle. But the fact is, it's the simple, tried and tested exercises which are proven to be the most effective. So, to help you get back to basics, here's Fit Media's list of the best muscle building exercises and how to do them with perfect form. And we're starting with chest. The incline press is your go-to exercise to grow your chest. The incline angle builds the upper chest for that full round look. Keep the back flat on the bench, bring the bar down to the top of your chest. Slowly down, then explode up. For a full chest workout, you'll also need standing cable flies. While a press builds thickness in your chest, a fly works on width. This is a single joint exercise. You're moving only at the shoulder. Keep the rest of your arm locked, bring the handles together, and squeeze. Machine Press The machine lets you focus more directly on the pecs, because it takes away the need for stabilization. In this example, you're pushing down, working on the lower part of the chest. Pec deck flies. Again, the machine delivers great isolation by forcing you to work in just one plane of movement. It also keeps the same resistance across the whole exercise. Squeeze as you bring your arms together. Barbell pullovers stretch the pec fibers in a different direction. Again, keep the arms locked, move only at the shoulder. Use a spotter to help control the weight. Now, on to shoulders. Best muscle building exercise for shoulders? Seated dumbbell press. A classic and effective exercise, perfect for starting your shoulder workout. Start with the dumbbells level with your ears, palms facing forward. Push the dumbbells up touching them gently together at the top, then slowly down. You may need a spotter as you increase the weight. Complete your shoulder workout with Incline Bench Front Raise The shoulder is made up of three muscles, and you need to work each of them. This exercise uses the incline to put the effort on the back of the shoulder, or rear delt, helping build that full 3D look. Moving on to the front of the shoulder, this is a dumbbell front raise. Alternating arms, left, then right, will help you avoid swinging and give better control. Not too heavy on the weight, we're working on isolating that front shoulder muscle. Machine Press As with the chest press, the machine forces the movement right on the shoulder. Using a machine like this, rather than a bar, allows you to bring the weight directly down in line with the middle of the shoulder, as opposed to moving to the front or back of the head. This is a cable lateral raise with incline. The cable gives you constant resistance across the movement, and again, lets you focus right on the middle of the shoulder. Leaning over like this delivers most resistance at the top of the movement, to make your shoulders pop. Now, let's build those arms. And our top biceps exercise, Easy Bar Curl. The angle of this easy bar puts the emphasis right on the biceps, rather than wrists and shoulders. Keep your elbows tucked in and don't swing the upper body. Slowly up, control on the way down. Also include isolation exercises like Cable Concentration Curl, helping you focus right in on each bicep separately. The cable gives constant tension. 
Work on the mind-muscle connection, keeping control the whole time. Now, cable curls, kneeling to neutralize the lower body. This is another isolation movement. Shoulders and elbows are locked in position, putting all the work on the bicep. Squeeze hard at the top to help build a great bicep peak. Triceps make up two-thirds of the upper arm, so to build impressive arms, work the triceps just as hard as biceps. This single arm tricep extension is our top triceps exercise. Lying down to avoid any other movement apart from the tricep. Keep your elbow locked and high. Fully extend and squeeze at the top. Dips. Use a narrow setting on the bars to focus on the triceps. Keep the body upright. If you lean forward, you'll be working the chest. Elbows tucked in and back. Lock out fully at the top. A great back is key to an overall balanced physique. The best exercise for growing your back is wide grip pull-ups, keeping it old school here. These work on your lats to add width to the back. They use body weight, but you can also add bands or a machine for assistance. Go for as many reps as possible. This is also a great way to pre-exhaust your whole back before moving on to isolation exercises. This single arm cable pull down is perfect to isolate those lat muscles. Being seated and working each side separately lets you find the perfect spot to fully stretch out those lats at the top of the movement. The lats are for width. But you also want to fill out the thickness of the back so here's a machine bent over row. Notice the close grip of the handles. That'll help you focus right in on that middle back for added mass. Before we move on to legs, at Fit Media Channel, we pride ourselves in presenting the world's best workout guides for every body part. So check out our playlists and make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for all our new videos. So, never skip leg day, right? To grow your legs, the most effective exercise is squats, the daddy of all leg exercises. This is a high bar squat, the bar resting on the top of the shoulders. Warm up properly on this exercise, starting with a lower weight and building up. Keep your back straight, chin up, chest out. Go as low as possible, then explode up. Make sure you only use a weight you can control and don't curve your spine. Squats help you fire up the whole of the lower body at the beginning of your leg day. But then, you need to hit particular muscles in the legs. For hamstrings, this is a stiff leg deadlift. It keeps the focus on the hamstrings at the back of the leg. Back straight, legs straight, bending only at the hip. As you go down, you'll feel the hamstring working. Don't overload the weight. This is an isolation movement, so form is more important than weight. Leg extensions. Moving on to the front of the leg now. Leg extensions build the quads and help give you that teardrop muscle in the leg. The machine is adjustable. Make sure you're hinging exactly at the knee joint. Back to hamstrings now, and a lying hamstring curl. Isolation again, so concentrate on the movement, not the weight. Controlling and squeezing. This exercise also works your glutes. Treadmill lunges. Every leg workout should include lunges. They mainly target the quads, but they also benefit core and stability. Here we've chosen a treadmill because it saves you having to turn around every few paces, and you can increase the effort by setting the machine to incline. Calf raises. Finally, for legs, don't forget calves. 
These raises are your most basic exercise for calves. Very simple, not much variation. Just up, down, up. Fully stretch as you go down. Full squeeze at the top. We know that abs are made in the kitchen. Your six pack is only going to show through if you have low body fat. But at the same time, you can train your abs to thicken the muscles and create deeper cuts. Crunches are the best way of working your abs. There are many variations, but our most effective are these alternating crunches. Holding your feet six inches off the floor keeps constant tension across the lower abs. Squeeze the abs as you bring elbow to knee. For more variation, try this incline bench Russian twist. It's a great exercise for the whole core. The bench locks your legs, so you're twisting from the core, not from the hips. Hold on to a weight for added resistance. But make sure you keep control. Don't over-rotate on the movement. These hanging knee raises give you a full stretch on the abs and a complete range of movement. Here, we're adding a twist to bring in the muscles at the side of the abdominals, including obliques. Don't let your body swing and squeeze at the top of the movement. And before we leave you, worth saying that every workout should also include a warm-up. At the beginning of your workout, get some blood into the area you're working, firing up the muscles to help avoid injuries, and stretching at the end of every session. This will help your muscles recover and increase your flexibility, not just in your workouts, but in daily life. If you're looking for full written workouts to follow, Fit Media Channel members receive regular workouts by email week by week. Sign up for free at our website by clicking the link. Thanks for watching.